Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you've been well. Tonight, I'm in the backseat of my truck in my garage. It's kind of weird, huh? But I'm here for a reason. It's to show you a new product, not even actually out yet. It is for pre-order, but I don't know how long, not very long. So I'm gonna post this video real quick. And if you want this, you better jump on it fast. So hopefully you're part of the notification squad if you do. What I'm gonna be going over today is a product, a really innovative product from my friends over at Fieldcraft Survival. It basically, in a nutshell, the summary is it combines one of those slick back, back of the seat panels with a minimal kind of go bag. So if you're into those things like I am, then you'll want to stay tuned for the video. Also, at the end of the video, I'll kind of do some announcements and things like that. If you're into the channel or wondering what I've been up to, people have been asking me a lot, like, are you still doing gun content? Absolutely yes, but I'll get into that at the end of the video. All right, so this basically is a new product. I think it has some patent pending, like some utility patents on it. Uh, and it's a product that I've been thinking about for a long time, really. Not that not that they stole my idea or anything like that, but it's it was an area of the market that I kind of always thought someone should fill. You guys know I'm too busy and don't have the time for that, and I didn't really think of this specifically, so I'm not saying that. But it's a product that kind of fills a void that I always thought was not filled. And that's combining a lot of things that I like, right? So if you guys watch my channel for any amount of time, you'll know that I'm into survival, obviously. I'm into gear, obviously. I'm into organization of gear. I'm into pouches. I'm into separation of gear. I'm into things that are very utilitarian, and I'm into things that are uh, multi-use, kind of multifaceted often as well. Uh, and as you can see, probably, I'm pretty into multicam black. All that actually, no joke, is gear that I had in my truck that I've been kind of testing and working through. And it's all in multicam black. And sometimes you gotta ask yourself, if there's a piece of gear that's made in multicam black and I don't have it, is that piece of gear even in available when the tree falls in the woods? All right, anyway, enough talking. I'm gonna get into this piece of kit. Uh, I don't have it set up with anything because literally I got it like a couple days ago, been busy, I gotta send it back in a couple days. So this is like an overview more than anything. I will get my hands on one for personal use. I'll get it all set up. Uh, so you can stay tuned for a video of it in the future, how I will actually set it up. But I'm just gonna try and show you kind of the features of it, some ideas that I've already kind of come up with in like the five minutes that I've been playing with it. Uh, and yeah, mostly just to make you aware of the product because the reason I was showing you all that Multicam Black Gear is the pre-order, the pre-sale is for Multicam Black. Once it goes on live sale, it will not be in Multicam Black. It'll be in like OD Black, FDE, I think. Maybe, o maybe Multicam Black will come back in the future, but it will not launch with Multicam Black. So if you want to for sure get a Multicam Black one, uh, you gotta jump on it. Jump on it right away. All right, at its core, it is this, and I don't know, lighting is kind of weird because this is black and everything is black and I'm white, but we'll see, we'll see what happens. So at its core, it is a seat back panel. What I really like about this is, yeah, you could, you could use some of their pouches. They are Velcro, so this is the loop side, this is the hook side, kind of the, the industry standard, I guess. So there's a lot of other pouches, you know, that'll work on a system like this. Maxpedition makes um, Vertex makes a bunch of stuff called Tactigami. That'll work on there. If you're one of those guys that just needs places to stick your patches, obviously you can do that there. But the primary use of stuff in my mind for the Velcro is to attach quick grab stuff. Like this is, they have a Fieldcraft Survival survival kit in here. A med kit obviously would make a lot of sense. A trauma kit. I actually have a, a trauma kit that I keep up front. So this is a little trauma kit with a tourniquet, some quick clots, some shears, a rescue me on it. So this is the my personal kit that I keep up front. I don't know if you saw me just climb over there or not, but that, that'll slam on there. So if you need to just quick grab it and go, this is accessible obviously from the front seat over here or from the back seat or you run around and grab it. So in my mind, the Velcro is really for stuff like that where you're gonna wanna slam some type 
a Velcro other piece of kit. Obviously being Velcro, uh, this is not a proprietary attachment system. You could really, the sky's the limit for what you want to attach here. So I really like that. There's a nice big Velcro part here and actually Velcro all the way down through here. So Velcro all the way to the bottom. I don't know if you can see, there's another wide pouch here that you can put all kinds of good stuff in. All kinds of good stuff. All kinds of room for activities. So some of these pouches, yeah, med kits, yeah, tactical gear, you could put like a gun holster, you could hook up a, an AR or something probably in some, some fashion. Uh, again, I haven't had a ton of time to play with it, but it's not only for your tactical gun guys. For, for a guy like me who's not very tactical at all, you can store your snacks. These are snacks, not a product placement. Karen's Naturals, dried fruit. Anyways, he sent me out a box of all this, all this uh, dried fruit that I've been eating because I, I love this stuff. Anyway, just a side note. So you don't need to store guns and gear and cool guy stuff. Uh, a lot of times I actually see in a non-tactical world, these back panels, they're not, you know, multicam black and they don't have molly on them, but probably sometimes they have Velcro. But these types of things for when you have a kid in the back seat, maybe in a car seat, maybe a, maybe a kid that's no longer in the car seat, and this, they can keep their, you know, their crayons or their snacks or some wipes or whatever back here. And this can be an area for, for little kiddos or, you know, diapers or whatever. And they're kind of pitching that way a little bit, but I don't know, I don't know how much they've been, they've been touching on that aspect of it. So that's just another use, obviously, kind of sky's the limit, like I think I said before, as far as uses for this gear goes. Um, but yeah, use your imagination if this kind of thing makes sense. Obviously it does dig in to the leg room back here. So might not be the best like full-time solution if you have full grown adults and a small back seat. A lot of times like the Tacoma, I do have this seat pushed up so I can fit in here no problem. But if it was back, obviously it'd be, it'd be tight. So that's another thing to note. So yes, this is, you can attach any kind of stuff. If you want to attach just like carabiners, if you want to just put like a, you know, your Sharpie or your knife, your knife or whatever. Back in this panel here, you can obviously do that. Molly's kind of good for that. And you can, if you want to attach like more full-time gear, you know, that has these types of attachments, you can full-time attach some piece of kit like that as well. You know, you can have your quick detach removable stuff on the Velcro and you can have your more long-term permanent type solutions down here. I actually wanted to toy around with some stuff like this. You'll see a video coming out uh, soon where I use this like cargo net thing and I was thinking you could like hook this on here somehow and then you could like cargo net some stuff in here. I don't know. I bought a handful of these and I just been trying them out. I'll link to them. They're, they're, I'm, I'm finding all kinds of uses for these, but maybe you could find a use for it with this as well. And you might be saying, Mike, that's cool. Yeah, it's multicam black and it's sick and it's a back panel and maybe it's something I would buy anyway, but like what, what's so what's so innovative about this? Like, what, how's, it, how's it a bag? Um, and that's where things get interesting. And that's where I'm guessing they have kind of the patent where you'll see here, these little hooks that you've probably seen on other gear. There's one here and then there's one down here. I don't know if that was in view. Anyways, you take those off and this panel comes off. And you might be thinking still, cool, that's cool, a removal panel, yeah, quick release, whatever. But what we have down here in this little rolled up section is, yeah, another one of those hooks. So you can quickly take this hook off and then this flap now is a big flappy guy. What it does, and sorry, I'm again, just trying to make this video pretty quick. This quickly, Sorry, I kind of had this pouch bulkered up weird. This then quickly, I'm actually just tucking away a strap here that I forgot was attached. Again, I've only had this thing for about five minutes. Anyway, this thing quickly converts into a minimalist backpack with some pretty minimal straps here and you know, these straps can obviously tuck back in here. Anyways, what you got is your, previously it was a panel that has now rolled up into a cool 
backpack. Now obviously what you got here is a backpack. It's got a main compartment that you can put stuff in, but also every piece of kit, all of the pouches that you had on this back strap, maybe you got your, maybe you got your snacks in here as well, turns into a quick go bag. Now this obviously isn't gonna replace like a full size three day type pack with hip straps and everything like that for carrying a big load, but for quick grab and go for if you just want one piece, if you just want one medical kit and one survival kit and one thing of shears or tools or whatever and you wanna put that on your back panel and you want that to have easy access, but you also want a go bag or a get home bag and you don't want to have to buy a whole separate system of all this and put that in your get home bag or whatever. And you want that here accessible, but you want the same perfect set of kit that you built to go, to go in a bag. And maybe you don't want to store that other bag and maybe you don't want a whole separate system that's taking up space in your, in your rig. And you just want it all here. You get a two for one deal, just like that. So super innovative. I haven't seen anything else like this out on the market. I'm guessing there isn't anything uh, and it's patent pending. So I'm guessing there isn't going to be anything like this on the market. And it's just a piece of kit that hugely appeals to me and probably people like you uh, who are the more survival preparedness type mindset uh, who love gear and limited edition who love multicam black gear. So that's pretty much it. Again, I'll be playing with this more in the future, uh, but I wanted to get this video out real quick because like I've said a dozen times, the Multicam Black, you might never be able to get again. And I know, I know you guys love Multicam Black. So definitely check that out. I'll link to that and everything else if I remember that I talked to uh, in the video description down below. So if you guys don't know Fieldcraft Survival, they, they do a really popular podcast. They have a pretty big Instagram presence uh, and they do a lot of training and courses. They are, I think mostly it's two dudes or they're the founders or whatever anyway, Mike and Kurt over there, they're former special operations, special forces dudes that have a long history of, you know, cool guy stuff, but also kind of living and surviving out of their vehicle and doing the true, true hardcore overlanding. So if you've been paying attention to my channel, you know I'm doing videos on overlanding and stuff. Um, so I have have a relationship with them. I'm kind of like a brand ambassador for them, which is why I could get my hands on this piece of kit when, when nobody really has it. Uh, so that's cool. But they do uh, a lot of training. So they, they give out knowledge, they sell gear, obviously, and they do training courses, and they're, they're involved in all kinds of stuff. Um, I'm not sure what my involvement will be with them, aside from getting early hands on with Kit, maybe giving them feedback on, on how to improve some stuff. I just, I just kind of have started that relationship with them. Uh, but some cool guys that are doing some cool courses, uh, I'll probably be at their courses, doing their courses with them. As a student, mostly, uh, any of their courses they do out in Colorado, I don't know that I'll be traveling to them. They, they have a course coming up uh, in Arizona. So I think Arizona and Colorado are kind of where they're gonna be mainly doing courses. Um, but they're doing a big movement called EDM, right? Right? Electric dance music. They're really into that scene. No, I'm just kidding. EDM uh, stands for Everyday Mobility. Uh, much like EDC, the Electric Daisy Carnival, or Everyday Carry, as you guys probably know it, it is basically kind of the term that they coined for everyday carry for your vehicle, everyday mobility. So the tool, the vehicle that you use for mobility to get from place to place, what you have in that kit, and your vehicle as a whole, as a system. So basically vehicular e EDC is called EDM. And that's where they're focused a lot of their efforts recently in their courses and their training and their gear product development, obviously. So as you can imagine, it's stuff that is right down my alley. Really, I couldn't find a, a company or a group of guys that's more ingrained and in tune with the stuff that you've just naturally seen me be into over the last couple of years on my channel. So really excited about that relationship. Cool guys. And yeah, that's it. That's it. So if you found this video helpful, informative, any of that stuff, hit that thumbs up button, comment down below. 
give me some feedback on on them, their gear, if you've had experiences with them or anything like that. Um, now I'm going to be getting into some like channel updates and answering some questions that I've been getting a lot. So if you're if you're into that, stick around. If not, think about getting subscribed to the channel. I do guns and gear and truck and overlanding and all that kind of stuff, all those kinds of videos. So yeah, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button because a lot of times I'll be putting out videos that have time sensitive material. Sometimes there'll be coupon codes or discounts or pre-orders or limited runs of things. So the, the sooner you can get access to my content. If you're into cool guy gear, the better. If you're not into that stuff, yeah, don't worry with the notification icon. Anyway, to, go, to get into some answers to some questions, you guys have been seeing a lot of truck content obviously on my channel. You know, it's I've been putting some work into my truck. I've been building some new relationships in kind of the overlanding off-road industry, which is kind of the industry is new to me. The overlanding off-roading aspect is not new to me, but the industry is. So I'm developing new relationships and finding cool companies that are doing cool stuff, bringing stuff to market, uh, trying to get linked up with, you know, pro Second Amendment companies, which isn't always a given, but pro Second Amendment companies that are in those industries. So stuff you'll see me rocking for the most part when I've vetted them, which I'm trying to do for most companies, they're, they're companies I can stand behind. So if I'm if I'm recommending a piece of gear or something, then it's either A, it's really like the best gear you can get and it's, I don't, you know, the company is what it is. Or B, it's a piece of gear that a lot of companies are doing and I've, I've chosen to partner with, with some solid companies that have a good reputation and some, you know, morals and values and, you know, political type leanings that I can get behind. So yeah, a little bit of both, uh, but I, as often as possible, I'm trying to get linked up with, with pro second amendment companies, obviously. So that's that stuff. That's, that's what I'm doing with overlanding, with my truck, with my rig. Um, and I've been busy. The reason I haven't been putting out gun content is that I simply haven't been shooting in a couple of months. I've been to, I've been on some trips, uh, the NRA, I haven't shot, actually I just shot this last weekend and filmed a bunch of gun content, but before then I hadn't shot for like two months and it's just because it's summertime and the weather's beautiful and I've been out camping and doing stuff on the weekends and trying to just enjoy, enjoy my summer and that naturally has, has lended itself kind of to content that's more geared at truck stuff. But fret not for those of you that follow me for gun specific stuff. I have about six or seven gun builds in progress. Uh, so I'll be doing videos on all of those. The next video I'm dropping for those that have been asking for it is the P10C, tricked out P10C video. So stay tuned for that. I am making P10C holsters as well. If you're into my holsters, uh, shoot me an email. I'll put info down below, which also brings up the next point of my website. I set a personal goal I might have talked about it publicly, but a personal goal to have my website, my store launched by June. That was dependent on training up some help, some holster help to help me with sales. So that way I could take on more orders and I could do more stuff. And once they're trained up, then I'll feel more comfortable basically opening the floodgates of orders to, to public. Because you could always get holsters from me, but there's a little higher barrier to entry. You had to email me and I told you the process and ordering and we kind of had a little communication correspondence before, before ordering to kind of, so I could limit my sales and make sure that I was still producing a really high quality product and giving excellent customer service and not selling too many that I can't support that. Um, so excellent customer service is going to continue on. Excellent products is going to continue on. That's why it's kind of taken a while because I'm training them to have the same standards as myself because historically and still, still I'm hands on with every single holster that goes out the door. I do more than, more than half of it, but I'm training some help to basically have my standards of, of quality. But yeah, gear stuff next gear stuff, gun stuff. Uh, Vertex sent me out a commuter sling to shoot up, to destroy, along with obviously a bulletproof panel. So Premier Body Armor also sent me a panel to shoot up. And I, I shoot it up. I'm talking, I shoot that thing. This is a spoiler alert. Shoot that thing with a Desert Eagle 50 cal. I shoot it with some 300 blackout. And then all the usual suspects, 10 millimeter, nine millimeter, all that stuff. So that video is pretty much already 
filmed the shooting part of it. I got to film some other stuff. I'll probably do the commuter review as well for those people that have been asking. Vertex, my code still is good over there. Uh, I have a good relationship with Vertex, so I don't think my code is going away anytime soon. It's L-L-O-D. Those four letters will save you 25% off at Vertex. Also a great relationship with Premier Body Armor. Uh, same code, L-L-O-D, saves you 25 or 10% off of everything over there as well. Speaking of Vertex, I just got a new pair of Delta stretches that they just sent out. This color is is cool it might be my favorite color i don't know what color it is it's i think it's like tobacco what else hats yes people continue to ask me when will your hats become available soon man it's just they've been kind of getting bumped down on the priority list uh but they're coming they're coming soon they're coming soon I, I mean soon i haven't ordered them yet but i've finalized all the details found a person to get them through got what I want to do with my logo placement, picked out the specifics. So they're they're coming, not ordered, but they're, they're coming. So they'll be available on my website. Uh, I am gonna announce them. They're gonna be a limited run. I'm getting 100 of each size, basically. And I will announce that uh, to my boys, to my family over on Patreon first. So if you want first dibs on that kind of stuff, go over to Patreon. Uh, I also on Patreon have been working with companies to get like limited coupons. So there's a lot of companies that don't want coupon codes floating out there for the masses. Um, but I've developed relationships with them and they said, we'll take care of you and your diehard supporters. So I'll have coupon codes that I share only with patrons or that kind of stuff. And they always get discounts on my holsters and everything like that. So if you're into that kind of stuff, check out Patreon. Uh, I'm not going to make a big deal of it. I'm coming up on 100,000 subscribers which is a pretty good milestone for a youtuber i'm not a big youtube channel by any means still but youtube feels that hundred thousand is good enough to deserve something and they'll send you out like a silver play button and then you're like a legit youtuber so i'm coming up on that soon uh hopefully i blow far past that but that's a cool milestone i'm about to hit so yeah i think that's it website Holster production's good, gun content, tons to come, truck content also, tons to come. As I develop these relationships, I'll be getting gear. I can't afford this build, so don't necessarily try to mimic my build, unless you have deep, deeper pockets. Um, I am still trying to be practical, and at, with every upgrade I do and talk about, I will be, as much as I can, very clear to say, like, you absolutely don't need this to do overlanding. So I'm gonna be building a pretty cool truck. Nothing crazy, it's still gonna be my daily driver and I still value uh, being able to drive it nicely as my daily, but I will be working with companies to get the actual absolute sickest gear on this truck. So it will be my everyday driver and I will still try to keep it somewhat modest, you know, nothing too crazy. I'm not putting 40s on this thing or anything, but will it will have some cool stuff on it also thanks for sticking with me this long but let me know down in the comments below what you think i should do at a hundred thousand subs i don't have anything planned i don't really like giveaways just because they're a pain in the butt and when people lose a giveaway they get all butt hurt and they're like i'm gonna unsubscribe from you because i didn't win and i'm like what well, it's like you know what, what can i do not everyone wins every giveaway so Maybe I could do a giveaway if I get organized. I could reach out to some companies. I do do monthly giveaways on Patreon, though. Um, so it's a smaller community and it's easier to handle. I pick one winner, sometimes two, actually. Every single month I do a giveaway over this. So if you're into giveaways, go check out uh, my Patreon. And yeah, so 100,000, let me know what I should do. You know, I could do a meetup maybe or something. Uh, or, or, yeah, I don't know. Give me some ideas. Cause it's cool. A long time ago, I said, once I reach a hundred thousand subscribers, I'm gonna start taking YouTube seriously. Cause up until now, it's been like a side, 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 side project of mine. Enjoyable, fun, developed some great relationships, but I haven't really taken it seriously. And I told myself, and I told you guys that a hundred thousand, I would. So that's coming up. All right, guys, take care.